Our topic for today is still anchored to the competency, employ analytical listening, and problem solving. And these are our objectives. Number one, define and discuss discourse markers. Two, classify discourse markers according to usage. And three, identify discourse markers used and analyze how they are used in sample texts. In order to have good grasp of the lesson, be guided with the following questions. 1. What are discourse markers? 2. Why and when do we use discourse markers? And 3. How do discourse markers affect communication? Our lesson is on discourse markers. So what are discourse markers? Discourse markers are words that connect, extend, or introduce a new point or counterpoint in a piece of writing or speech. They organize, connect topics or contrast ideas, and signal a change of the topic in the communication. Let's have some examples. 1. Anyway, she needs to go to market now. So the signal used or discourse marker used is anyway. So this signals that the conversation is finishing. Let's have number 2. Finally, results show that the virus can be airborne. The discourse marker used in this sentence is finally. So this signals the last item in a list of a point or arguments. Let's have number three example. Right now, we start discussing discourse markers. So you can see in the third example that the word used or the discourse marker used is now. So now in here signals something new. The fourth sentence, so he already has plans of marrying. So for number four, the discourse marker used is so. So so focus on, focuses on a topic. And the topic here is the plans of marrying. In addition, discourse markers are not the type of expressions you'd pick and use just any way you want. They have their own meaning, therefore, misuse results to misleading conversation. So you have to be very careful in using discourse markers because as mentioned, there is a specific use for each of the discourse markers. You just do not need to pick one and use anytime you need it. You have to be very careful because there is a specific use for each of the discourse markers. May I highlight that one? For instance, you can say, additionally, this meeting is over. Because of course, additionally is not a marker used in ending a conversation. Additionally is a marker used to add something. Okay, So it is not used to end something. You take note of the different groups of discourse markers according to their usage. So the first one, you have to add information. You have their end, to, also, moreover, as well as, furthermore. So example, we have improved our phone's features this year. Furthermore, the security features can stabilize your phone's performance. So there is the use of the discourse marker, furthermore. It is used to add something on the first statement given in the example. So there is additional information other than the information presented on the first example. Second group of discourse markers are to show cause and effect. So you have here, because, Hence, therefore, as a result, and consequently. Here is an example. Masks help prevent the spread of new coronavirus. Therefore, 
people should always wear one. So you have here the use of the discourse marker, therefore. So this is to show cause and effect. Let's have the third group of discourse markers to show or no, to sequence events. So these are the examples. Firstly, secondly, next, after, before, meanwhile. In preparing your dish, first you have to make sure your ingredients are complete. Second, drain your kernel corn, then peel your carrots, then finally, saute your ingredients in hot oil. So as you can see, the example shows a step-by-step -step process. So the discourse markers used here are first, second, then, and finally, because it shows the steps. So what should come first, then the second, then the third, until the, the last one. So these are the use of discourse markers under sequence of events. The next group of discourse markers are to show similarities. Likewise, equally, also, similarly, in the same way. Example, girls treat their dolls as baby sisters. Similarly, boys have their guns as brothers. The next group of discourse markers are to show contrast. So you have here, however, whereas, conversely, on the other hand, alternatively. Example, humans apply moisturizers to protect and to keep their skin soft. However, they forget that sunscreen is more protective than moisturizers. So you can have here the use of however. So it shows um, contrast to the first part of the example. So the first sentence, oh no, the second sentence is in contrast, in opposite to the first sentence given in the example. Next group of discourse markers you have here to show or to illustrate. Okay, for example, such as including, according to, for instance. Example, Jenny said she easily believes in everything she hears. In other words, Jenny is gullible. Next group of discourse marker is used to emphasize. We have especially, clearly, particularly, essentially, and above all. So the example here, we have to help one another in times of disaster. Above all, keep your faith high to God. The next group of discourse markers, we have overall, finally, to sum up, in conclusion, in summary. So these markers are used to conclude. All the groups deserve a standing ovation for their performance. Overall, the show is truly fantastic. So let's have a wrap up of what we have in this session. So in this session, you learned about discourse markers, which are also known as logical connectors or sentence connectors and are related to parenthetical expressions. Most of them are adverbs. Moreover, they are grouped according to the speaker's or writer's purpose, which is either to add information, to compare or to contrast ideas, to show cause and effect, to show sequence, examples or illustrations, to give emphasis or to conclude. To end this session, I would like to leave you this thought to ponder on. One good conversation can shift the direction of change forever. That's all for today. Thank you. See you on our final session for this week.